gorgeous fabric project with extra detail is simple with Spray and Bond Basing Spray by ThermoWeb. Spray and Bond Basing Spray is a temporary bond spray adhesive for fabric. Since it's repositionable, it can be used during the design phase for applique placement or to assemble landscape quilt layers. It can hold templates, embroidery stabilizers, and quilt batting in place on fabrics. Spray and Bond Basing Adhesive can also be used in place of pinning or basing, saving you time. It's also sewable and won't gum up needles. Before you get started, you'll want to pre-wash your fabric without fabric softener and test it on your fabric. To use Spray and Bond Basing Spray, shake the can well and hold it upright about 12 inches from your fabric. Press the nozzle and use a sweeping motion to lightly cover the back of the item you're bonding. Next, press the sprayed item onto your project while it's still tacky. You can reposition it as needed. Finally, sew your project. The adhesive cleans up with soap and water and also washes out of fabric in the washing machine. When you're finished, hold the can upside down and press for a short burst to make sure the nozzle is clear before storing. Adding extra creative touches to your fabric projects is easy with Spray and Bond Basing Spray by ThermoWeb. rain out of your tent and stop leaks with a waterproof sealant. Use Seam Grip WP, a waterproof sealant to permanently seal the seams of tents, rain flies, and even jackets. To apply, set up your tent or lay down your rain fly so you can seal the inside seams. Add on the applicator brush, then press to apply to the seams. One tube will seal up to 12 feet of seams. Leave the item to cure overnight. Once cured, you'll have a clear, glossy seal that flexes with fabric and stands up to extreme temperatures so you can go anywhere. It's also an excellent adhesive for repairing rips and holes in tents, tarps, awnings, inflatables, and almost all other nylon, canvas, and vinyl outdoor gear. Use Seam Grip WP and stay dry during your first or 100th camping trip. Add dimensional foil touches to fabric, paper, and other porous surfaces with the DecoFoil Liquid Adhesive by ThermoWeb. The bottle comes with 2.1 fluid ounces of non-toxic and acid-free permanent adhesive and a tip for writing. Liquid Adhesive was designed to work specifically with DecoFoil transfer sheets, which come in a wide range of colors and designs. To use liquid adhesive, start drawing a design on your fabric and let the adhesive dry until it's completely clear. Then cut a piece of foil slightly larger than the design and place it on top of the color side facing up. To set the foil, you only need to apply pressure with your finger. No heat is required. Finally, peel back the transfer foil and you'll be left with a lovely foil design that's also washable. Create one of a kind hand drawn and brushstroke foil projects with DecoFoil Liquid Adhesive by ThermoWeb. your Eclipse machine quite a bit, you'll notice one thing. You'll notice that your mat is not nearly as sticky as you'd like it to be. Well, you know what? Never fear. We have a solution for that. We have a new Eclipse adhesive spray that will bring brand new life to your mat. Let me show you how easy it is. First, you're going to get out your little Eclipse toolkit and grab the wonderful spatula. And we're simply going to take off all the little ickies that are on our mat. We're just going to kind of grab that off and get a little piece there. But if you had a whole bunch of stuff on your mat that were really icky, you could use the ruler that's in your kit. And you're thinking, why would I use the ruler? Well, you know what? It's a great scraper for a lot of ickies. So what you're just going to do is just scrape those ickies off and get it nice and clean. So now we're almost ready. 
Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our garage, or if you have some in your toolkit or anything, we need some painter's tape. If you don't have painter's tape, that's okay. You can use masking tape, or if you have a very adhesive, a very strong adhesive tape, you can just kind of get some lint on it by putting it on your clothing, and then it won't be so sticky, and that's what you want. This painter's tape comes off really quickly and easily. So we're going to get some newspaper, and we have some big sheets here, and I'm simply just going to tear it, because we only need about a half a sheet. Okay, and I'm going to lay it on my surface and I'm going to put some tape down on top of it. Just going to kind of line it up about that much and go ahead and adhere it to your table because since it is a temporary tape, it's okay to do that. Now I'm ready to go. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to line it up on my mat. I want to make sure, what I'm doing is I want to make sure I do not get my adhesive spray on the blue part of my mat because that would ruin my, it wouldn't be good for your machine and it would kind of get on the rollers. So what I want to do is just kind of line that up the best I can to protect that blue part of my mat. So there's one, and I have some more done here. So I'm gonna cover all four corners. Okay, now we're ready to spray. You're gonna wanna shake your can for a few moments. Now I am inside, but I don't recommend you do this inside. So we don't wanna walk downstairs and go outside right now. <laughs> we're gonna shake our can, and we're gonna wanna spray approximately eight to 10 inches away, and we wanna make sure that we fully cover our mat. So ready, here we go. Just gonna kind of give it a nice, good spray. I like to spray a lot because I like a sticky mat, especially for those intricate designs. That's about good. And now we're gonna let it dry for approximately five minutes. What I usually do is I go get something to drink and I go kind of, you know, clean up my room a little bit and now we'll let it air dry. And then it'll be a perfectly wonderful um, sticky mat again. Once it's dry, you can go ahead and peel off your tape. And if you use your Eclipse a lot, you could even save these pieces. We have ours actually behind our door in here. <laughs> we use them over and over because we use our Eclipse a lot around here. So we're just going to peel that off, move those off to the side, or you could just throw it away. And there we go. After five minutes, I'm going to have a brand new mat once again to keep cutting with.